lovely couples and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren, wedding planner and owner of Bluebird Creative. I provide a weekly dose of wedding planning goodness for the modern couple. I want to make sure that you guys don't feel stressed, that you can plan your wedding like a pro and enjoy the whole process. Now guys, you know what I'm going to say, if you haven't already, then make sure you have subscribed to my channel and also you can follow me over on Instagram at bluebird underscore creative, where I am all about behind the scenes, all about the stories, showcasing some lovely inspiration and just having some general fun. So if you're not following me over there, come on, it's really fun. Come and join me over there. So guys, this week's video is a bit of fun and some super useful tips for you guys. I seem to be focusing much on design or the last few videos all about design, but I mean, my heart is in the design. I love design. I love wedding design, guys. This week, I want to give you some useful tips for how to create a wedding design on a budget, but it actually still look good. Let's hop into the video. <laughs> So guys, one of the ways that you can save money on your decor, on your design, is to choose a venue that says it all. Don't choose a venue where you feel you really need to then dress it up with decor. Choose somewhere that really fits the vibe that you want so that you're not having to add loads of flowers to cover this bit up or loads of decor. Something that says it all for you will actually end up saving you money on your decor budget. So definitely, definitely go down that road. So I've just mentioned flowers very, very briefly. When it comes to your flowers, I mean, there's a lot of talk where people say, if you just go for foliage, that's going to cost you less money than actual flowers. But nowadays, guys, there's not much of a difference because people are doing that and therefore the prices are actually going up for foliage as well. So that is not a piece of advice that I'm going to give you. But what I would suggest, and I've mentioned this in previous videos as well, and I... I highly, highly suggest that you do this. If you are having florals at your wedding, if you are using florals in your wedding ceremony, then make sure you repurpose them. Not only for your budget, but also because why waste beautiful flowers for a 30 minute to 60 minute wedding ceremony and then not use them again? It's also better for the environment. You're getting more use out of them. There's going to be less waste as well. So, I mean, it literally is a tick, tick, tick repurpose your flowers bridesmaids bouquets can be repurposed as table centers for example so where can you move things around on your wedding day that are going to save you money without it actually looking poo let's move on to stationery now this is an area that you can definitely save money on if you want to and you can still make it look good now i'm a massive fan of working with a stationer but i do appreciate the fact that not everybody has the budget to work with a stationer or to work with a calligrapher so these tips are for you guys now if you've got lovely handwriting then why don't you consider making your own place names instead of having them printed you can go to Hobbycraft or Amazon or wherever. You can get some little place cards and you can write your own. If you've had a little go at calligraphy before and you're feeling a bit creative or you're quite artistic, then you can have a go at doing that yourself. Not only will that save you on paying a professional to do it, but also you're having a personal touch go into your wedding day as well and knowing that you've created something which is lovely. So that's one thing that you can do. Another area where you can save on your stationery is to do paperless invites. Not only is this going to save on your budget, but it is also better for the environment. I am personally a fan of this and I recommend this to all my clients where possible because it's more eco-conscious, guys. You know, invites do just get thrown in the bin. So as beautiful as they are, it is what happens. And it is a lot easier to just do things online. There's some amazing platforms. I've done a video actually on Joy, which is a wedding website, which also does your where you can also track your RSVPs and your invites as well. So I'll link that video for you up here. There's also companies like Paperless Post, where you pay a very small amount and you can have, well, actually it's free. Or if you want the designs to look a little bit extra, then you can pay a very small amount and they get sent out via email. It also makes it so much easier for people to respond because they just have to click an email instead of reading the envelope, then sending you a text, which I know isn't that difficult, but guys, it's like herding cats. So 
I am so here for saving money on wedding invites, being more eco-conscious and actually making our lives a little bit easier as well. I mean, again, that's a tick, 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 right? That should count for three hacks. I'm just saying. Another stationary area is menus. Don't feel like you have to give each individual person a menu. It's absolutely lovely. And if you've got the budget for it, do it. But if you haven't, then consider doing one for the table or consider adding it to your table plan. Perhaps you've got your table plan set up and you're just going to have a copy of the menu in the middle. So as people find their place, they can also see what is on the menu. And then you've only got to do one. So that is a real little budget hack tip thing there for you. So whilst we're kind of in the wedding breakfast area, because that's where the stationery and the menus are happening, let's talk about candles. Candles are something that is going to melt. I mean, I love candles, guys. Don't get me wrong. I freaking love candles. You can get twisty ones. You can get dip dye ones. You can get hand painted ones. You can just get beautiful, beautiful tapered Swedish candles. I'm here for the candles, but I appreciate that they do add up when it comes to your budget. We spent over £200 on candles, like for weddings, just to have a couple scattered across a few tables. So it might be something that you want to save on. Now, there are places like Flying Tiger, who I think do candles for about a pound. So that's not going to cost you too much or blow your budget. And they have a great range of colours. That is obviously a company based over here in the UK. I don't know where you would be able to get cheap candles over in America. But if you do know, then obviously do hit me up in the comments below so that you can share with the other people watching this video as well. Alternatively, if you don't want to put money into candles, but you still want some beautiful mood lighting, then have you considered using fairy lights? You can put them into bottles and into jars and have them on the table. You can also sell them after the wedding as well. So it's a big tick for the budget hack. Next, let's talk about food, guys. So when it comes to food, it is one of the most expensive parts of your wedding day, but there are ways to make it not so expensive. One of them would be to not have a three course meal. One of them would be to not have dessert and have your cake as dessert. Another way is to, I feel like I need to do a video just on this because apparently there's lots of ways to save money on your food. Another way would be to have sharing boards and sharing platters instead of individual dishes. It can end up costing a little bit less. You can also go for the buffet or you could have somebody outside serving pizzas for you. I'm always here for the pizza, guys. I always talk about pizza at weddings. I freaking love pizza at weddings. If you're having pizza at your wedding, I want in. I've said this before. I've said this before. If you've been following me for a while, then, then you know my obsession. But one of the other things that looks amazing, because that is the point of this video, that looks amazing but will save you money, are grazing tables. They are so freaking cool, guys. There is a company over here in the UK called Grape and & Fig, and they do it like no other. They are amazing. If you haven't heard of them, I actually did a podcast episode with them back last year. I will link that in the description box for you. They are very inspiring, so stylish you will love them and they do weddings so win-win i will link them for you they look amazing in fact let me show you some pictures of what they do here okay you are not losing on design and style it will still cost you money guys this is not a cheap hack but it will save you on your budget than having a three course meal. You could even scratch the starter, you could have canapes, then you could have a grazing table, and then you could just have cake. So let's move on to a, another hack, which is also food related, and that is talking about cake. Now, I love a beautifully styled cake. I really, really do. But you don't have to do it if you don't have the budget for it. It can cost you a couple of hundred pounds. So if you were looking for doing something different, but you still wanted it to be cool and you still wanted it to look good, I feel you guys. Have you considered donuts? You know, loads of people are doing the old Krispy Kreme tower. I'm here for that. Have you considered having an ice cream van or just serving ice cream? instead of cake? Have you considered having a candy floss machine instead of cake? If you still want something to cut, perhaps just a small cake and then having the donuts. I love the donuts idea because you can still cut a donut, you can still feed each other a donut, you can still have those traditions if you want them, but you don't have to. So there's definitely lots of different ways to create a fun dessert, keep the kind of the tradition of something cutting something, but not having to pay for a big cake. 
obviously you can just downsize it but if you want something that's got impact those are a couple of different options for you that will help save on your budget but still look freaking good and finally guys another budget saving hack is this one is related to your wedding dress. Now don't feel like you have to go and buy a brand new wedding dress. There's two options here. One is you can get a pre-loved dress. I got a pre-loved dress. In fact, I didn't even go out and seek a pre-loved dress. I just happened to go to a wedding dress shop that actually stocked all pre-loved dresses. And that's where I found the dress that I loved. It was just complete and utter fluke and it was clearly meant to be. I loved it, it was actually an example dress. But you can either get example, you can get pre-loved, or you can hire your wedding dress. If you're one of those people that knows that you're gonna probably sell your dress afterwards anyway, then why spend through the nose to buy a brand new wedding dress when you could hire it for the day? How amazing is that that you actually now have the possibilities to do that? And there are some amazing companies out there doing that, I will link one in the description box below for you. So there you go, guys. I didn't keep count, but I know that there are nine budget saving hacks to help you with your wedding budget, but also it still look good. There's no compromise on the design and the style here, guys. And that's what's important, I think, for me. I love things looking nice. We're all about the style and the design, guys. It runs through the veins of us here at Bluebird. So I wanted to make sure that you guys know how you can also do the same. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I will be back next week with some more wedding planning goodness. I hope you have a fantastic week.